Hello, I'm Janelle and I live in a van with my pet snake, Alfredo. Today is our freaking birthday. I turn 21, Alfredo turns one, and we're gonna do 21 things for my 21st birthday. I made Alfredo a birthday hat and then I started a vision board for myself with all my goals and aspirations and that includes rebuilding my van and using it to visit all the national parks in the US and then I'd like to build a Unimog and use that to travel from Alaska to Argentina. And once my travel bug has died, I'd love to build a tiny home and start a small farm. I opened my birthday presents and I got a mug with a snake that looks like Alfredo, a speaker, and this plush stingray. If you watched my last video, then you'll understand. I also got this book about Antarctica and some flowers. I had some carrot cake, which is my all time favorite flavor of cake. I got a Brazilian, ouch. I got my nails done and my toes did. And then I zipped around town on these electric scooters with my friend Raya. I went to a rooftop bar to watch the sunset. Yeah, that's it. Right there? Yeah, as a kombucha connoisseur, I thought it was only fitting that I drink a hard kombucha as my first sip of alcohol. But quite frankly, I was unenthused. I hit the dance floor and busted out my best moves. I got a tattoo. And I also got a piercing, which has turned out to be a birthday tradition. I snuck in some cardio and rollerbladed the boardwalk as the sun was setting. I went thrifting despite the fact that there's literally no more room in my closet, but I found some really good pieces. I got dolled up and took myself out on a date, which honestly is nothing new. I do this every day, but I decided to treat myself to my favorite food, which is pizza. I decided that this would be a good time to give myself a little trim. Every birthday, I try to cut my hair. I didn't do anything too drastic this time, just took a couple inches off my bangs. I went to the bookstore and bought two books. I got USA's National Parks by Lonely Planet and Forest Therapy by Sarah Ivins. I was having a peaceful picnic until a wasp came and decided to steal my sandwich. I tried not to make any sudden moves, but as soon as I could, I evacuated the premises. I returned to get my backpack and potentially reclaim my sandwich, but it was just so far gone. The wasp had brought at least seven of his friends and I just had to accept my defeat. As soon as their guards were down, I quickly grabbed my backpack and scurried away. I hope they enjoyed that overpriced sandwich because I sure as hell did it. After that stressful event, I decided to journal and take time to reflect on this past year. I strolled around the forest and did a little bit more reflecting. And I decided to end this trip with a quick yoga session. So that was 21 things that I did for my 21st birthday weekend. I had an amazing birthday and I just want to thank each and every one of you who wished me a happy birthday. It means so much to me. Last year for my 20th birthday, I cried. I was so alone and so sad and stuck in this just rut of being confused and not knowing and just being confused and not feeling like I had accomplished anything. I use birthdays as an excuse to make big decisions. And for my 19th birthday, I bought my van and made the decision to move into it and live that lifestyle. For my 20th birthday, I really didn't do anything. I was very sad 
and lost and I, I basically just cried for my 20th birthday but because of that I made the decision to put in all my effort to be a happy person and I feel like <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting like super teary but this last year has just been so amazing because I made that decision to be happy first before anything else I'm just like thinking about literally how much everything has changed in a year and even like everything that's changed in like this month <sighs> I'm crying because I'm so happy and one of the things that I did um <laughs> today that I wasn't able to record because she didn't let me is I went to see a psychic on the Venice Beach Boardwalk and she asked me like why am I going to her and honestly I just wanted to film it for the vlog and she was just like what in your life do you want to change and I didn't have anything and she was like what will make you happy and I couldn't come up with anything because I'm already so happy and like <laughs> I within this last like two months month that I've been doing YouTube I've met so oh my god my makeup is like <laughs> I've met so many of you guys that like I don't know I just feel like I'm just Janelle the van girl <laughs> and I didn't really think that 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 would inspire so many of you guys and i met so many of you on my like recent road trip down to socal in like every city is that's also been such a trip that like people have been recognizing me and i just feel like like honestly guys i have spent the last like two years just by myself and so if you approach me and like I'm so awkward talking it's because I'm just not used to talking to people so many of you guys have like said that you're proud of me and my youtube channel which is so crazy because <laughs> that's so sweet and that I have inspired you to either live in a van so many of you guys sent me dms that like you convinced your parents to let you get a pet snake which is so cool because there's so much stigma around snakes i love how alfredo's an easy face to convince people that snakes are not spawns of hell which is so many of you guys have said that i've inspired you to just do what you want with your life and not just take just not go the path that everyone else is going and like living in a van was hands down the best decision that i've ever made and because i made that decision so confidently so many other things in my life has have manifested and just starting this channel i don't even know where i'm going with this <laughs> i think the big decision that i made for my 21st birthday was to resign from my nine to five job and pursue youtube full-time that was a very scary moment for me i <laughs> so many people were like why didn't you quit sooner um just because i didn't think that i could make youtube a career even with the growth that i had i was still like i need to keep my job because i don't know how YouTube works after you know really sitting down and thinking about it I I wanted to keep my job as more of like a safety cushion in case YouTube falls apart but then I was like you know what I'm gonna resign I'm gonna do YouTube full-time this is like what I want to do and like I'm so glad that like <laughs> I don't know this past year has just been so good to me and now through YouTube I feel like i'm able to <laughs> sorry there's a lizard um i feel like i'm able to you know make my dreams come true like like the goals that i set for myself to achieve in like 10 years are things that could be possible this year or next year and just i'm just so lucky and <laughs> Oh, 
I'm and on top of that it's like I'm able to make videos which I love doing and then in addition to that I'm able to you know work towards my goals and accomplish my goals and on top of that the the most important part is that I feel like I have a purpose my job before was amazing and I loved it but it was just a job and it wasn't really a career and now it's like literally everything that I could have ever wanted is like happening the fact that like so many of you guys like are taking steps to better your life and find happiness and find peace and contentment and you know take risks is just so amazing and so beautiful and I'm so happy that I'm able to just encompass everything in my life <laughs> Funny freaking one, dude. I'm probably just gonna sit here and cry more because I'm so happy. <laughs> I know that. I know. just surrounded with like so much love i just want to say that i love each i look like a mess dude <laughs> but a good mess because these are tears of joy <laughs> um i just wanted to say that i love you guys i'm gonna stop crying now toodles